I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. I'm here with Lychee and we're going to do a review of the Midwest Guinea Pig Habitat cage today. We're also going to show you how to put it together and we'll be showing you the essential accessories you'll need to put in the cage too. The Midwest Habitat is a great cage for two guinea pigs. Bear in mind though that if you have two males you'll need a slightly larger cage. We're going to show you how to put it together and review it as we go along. Here are the cage components. The cage sides, the canvas base, cage divider and ramp, divider cover, ramp cover, the lid. Begin by putting the cage sides in place and check they're the right way up. We're setting up with the access doors along the sides, but if you prefer a smaller area for the eating section and a larger space for the main section, it's better to have the doors on the ends. Put the canvas base inside the cage and secure the velcro around the cage sides. This base is leak proof and can easily be removed and washed as and when necessary. Most guinea pig cages for sale are far too small. Many plastic cages slant in on the base which takes away living space. This means the specified size is not the space they actually have inside the cage, unlike this Midwest habitat. This is one of the best guinea pig cages you will find. It measures 120 by 60 centimetres with 8 square feet of space and is a good looking cage. Side doors allow additional access. If you buy extra cages you can join them together so these doors become adjoining ramps. Attach the ramp cover. The ramp cover protects your guinea pig's feet. Guinea pigs have very delicate feet that are easily damaged, so unlike some rodents, they must never be housed directly on a wired cage flooring. Attach the cover to the divider. Bear in mind that you don't need to use the divider if you prefer a single large area, but this is a good way to separate the eating and play areas. You might find that by separating the areas that they keep the play area a bit cleaner. We find our guinea pigs poop and pee mostly when they're eating, especially under their hay feeder. The top is optional but usually essential if you have other pets. It's easy to remove for cleaning. It easily clips into place all the way around. The top opens fully on both sides, allowing you easy access to your guinea pigs. This is a guinea dad fleece. They are very absorbent, washable, and have a pocket our guinea pigs love to hide in. We use pee pads where they pee and poop the most as they're easy to wash and change over. If you're using fleece liner, remember to add it before inserting the divider. Now for the essential accessories. Attach a water bottle to the feeding area. This is a hay pig's food bowl that holds just the right amount of daily pellets for two guinea pigs. Hay is best off the floor as they won't eat soiled hay. We like these hay bags as they don't take up much room and they look great too. The hay pig's circus tent adds colour to your setup and our guinea pigs love theirs. 
I've included links in the description below to the cage and accessories included in our setup. In summary, the Habitat cage is easy to put together for one person, easy to access from the top or sides and for interacting with them, a good size for two guinea pigs, it's a good looking cage, you can make it bigger by adjoining cages and you can use without the canvas bottom as an outdoor pen but I would recommend supervision during runtime. Bigger is always better when it comes to guinea pig cages so if you have space and you want to give them an extra large cage check our description for links to information about C and C cages. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell so you're notified of new videos and please leave a comment and hit the like button if you enjoyed our video.